What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and the content. And today is a good one and a big video, so make sure you stick around as there's a big move I'm making today. First of all, let's go look at the content. It is a Monday. We obviously got the hero pick yesterday. Today we have been given Daniel Kofi Kiera out of position card. EA did state these would come randomly throughout the year and here is a random release of a 5 star, 3 star skill move player. You can play left wing, left mid, right wing and striker. That's pretty mid. Decent dribbling to be honest though. And decent finishing. Nothing else really too good. Dribbling is decent though. Some cool traits as well. I think it's 82 and 85. 82 and 85. So this card is going to come in at a price of goal pack, mixed players pack. 100 k overpriced. Don't waste your time. Next, I believe the only other thing we got was upgrade picks today, which is a 78 plus one of three. And this only requires uh, non rares but I think it requires 11. Yeah, 11 non rare gold, so they should rise. They're probably already up. Let's take a look at the price of uh, gold non rares. We did suggest that you buy these today for content or yesterday when you're watching this for 350 on bid. That's a very easy. If I had to take a guess, they're probably at least 450 right now. They're at least 400. Let's see, are they 450? They're 450. So you would have made 100 coins a card. And they're probably going to lay sell for 500. As you can see, they are lay selling for 500 as it's all sold. So yeah, every week that's usually a simple play for you guys on a low budget. Simply buy these for 350, sell them for 500, make 150 coins a card, or 100 coins after tax at least. And it's easy and simple money. But let's get into today's video. And the main topic is the road to the finals and what I am doing with the road to the finals. As you guys will know, I have a ton of road to the finals. Today I'm recording this on Monday. You'll be seeing this on Tuesday. Currently sat at 900k profit on my portfolio. Things are starting to look up. Trent is up a ton today, probably because Harvey Elliott and all these other cards. Um, the Liverpool cards doing well in general. And I'm going to sell uh, Trent as well, even though he, he could continue to rise as he's not road to the final. He is up a ton today. 255 all the way to 275 right now. I've already got a lazy at 286 uh, or something. And I'll start him too. Towards the road to the finals, my current plan for these cards is pretty simple. I'm going to sell all of these on Tuesday, which will be today when you watch this video. I'm going to sell all my road to the finals and move on. And I'm going to start investing in these cards after the game. So for example, today on Tuesday, Dortmund and Chelsea play. One card will go through, one will go out. And we'll invest in both of these cards after the game on stream on Twitch. So if you want to follow the Twitch channel right now, link in the description. We will be live trading these cards after the game. And I'm even going to experiment with trading some of these cards during the game as we have some app called Sofa Score, which I've been told about, which gives you instant updates when a goal scored and you can rush by a card so if uh marlin uh and dortmund take the lead i will be buying another marlin instantly or as many as i can and i want to have my coins ready to do that so yeah i'll be selling all of these road to the finals every single one even the ones that play on thursday this is mainly due to a few things but the main thing being last week we didn't really see much of a rise from tuesday to thursday and the few weeks before when these road to the finals were actually playing as well and there were impacts they didn't even rise much more into thursday compared to what they were on tuesday so in my opinion it wasn't even worth the hold so i'm just going to take the money and move on and i'm going to have my what 10 plus i'm going to have 11 mil from this portfolio and i have at least 3 mil in the game right now maybe even 3.5 probably 14.5 mil we're looking at in the game liquid so i'll be selling every single one of these cards today that's not going to change this time i will sell them all and i will be taking profit because in all honesty they're not moving enough and i would rather take the money and run I'll probably sell these around midday UK time on Tuesday. So a few hours after this video releases, I'll have them all sold and I'll come to the early stream with them all sold. The only thing that might happen is a very, very slow, slight chance this does happen is I hold on to the trends. As obviously he is not a road to the final. We'll wait and see because I have a feeling that I'm going to want to sell. And the reason is we have Gomez leaked, which is obviously going to most likely be a buying card. And that's causing a bit of panic. But we also have another leak, which is Arda, who is trash, so ignore that. Those are both SPCs, so bad SPCs are coming. That one's not too bad, to be honest. He could be decent. He's coming on, seems to be Thursday, or the Wednesday, sorry, and he seems to be coming on Tuesday. But birthday is confirmed to be the next promo after Fancy Foot Team 2. So we do have Fancy Foot Team 2 coming. But after Normally, after content on a Tuesday, we start to get the leaks coming in. With leaks come panic, and the market starts to drop. I don't want to be stuck holding any of these cards and seeing the market start to drop. After it hits, I'll start taking profits from here on. I'm going for realistic lazies, 20k above what the card is and stuff like that. If they sell, they sell. And I already have had a few sales, as I'm going to show you right now. You might see a trend in here. 
we do see a trend in here 286 and a Calvin Phillips was 680 on bid I'm gonna relist all there because I'm feeling lazy right now I should do them one by one if you do them one by one you get much more sales for the sake of the video I won't so I saw my Calvin Phillips was 680 on bid he is sat at 669 Man City don't actually play for the week until the week after my plan will be to go and reinvest in this card on Friday or on Thursday when the market dips hopefully for 600k and we run it run it back again I paid 600k I sold for 680 uh, so if we check my tracker, if you look on this part of the tracker, profits are recorded. I made 50k on one card. So if that happens again, I will try and do it again, making 54k and hopefully buy some more. Obviously that was a great, great entry price. Imagine if I bought 10, that's 500k. That's obviously only a 10% return. But hey, you'll take that at the end of the day. 10% is a good return. There's a trend I lady sold for 286. As you know, he's only 275. It does look like my trends are going to start selling and I'm absolutely fine with that. At some point, you must take profits and you must move on. Taking profits is one of the hardest things when it comes to trading. It's something people really, really do struggle with. So be aware, anyone can buy a card low, but it's hard to sell at the top and most people struggle with this, including myself. But don't kick yourself if you hold on too long, like I have in the past. Some of these cards are starting to shoot up now though, as we have pretty dead content you can say from EA today. And they're starting to move. Felipe Anderson plays today, so make sure you sell this before 6pm. The game is at 5.45 UK time. Make sure you get rid of Felipe Anderson. You don't want to hold that into the game. We saw what happened last time you held him into a game. And he, they won and went through and look how low he went. This is the end of the game. They won. They went through. And down he went. Oh no. Was it here? It was here. It was here. Sorry. But don't hold a big favourite into the game. One of the must not do's. We'll go to the finals. Any team that's not playing this week, I would also sell today. As it seems like their hype is kind of low. And people are going to shift their money into these cards. The cards I'll be looking at on Friday are going to be cards like Firmino. Hopefully 850. Liverpool seem to have generated a lot of hype since the 7-0 win against Manchester United. You can see Lucas Moura, the hype just isn't there right now. People are clearly not believing in Tottenham to pull off the upset. And um, that's probably because they lost on the weekend, like quite badly I think. Other than that, Fafana isn't moving a ton because we've had all those centre-back SBCs and John Stones goes to upgrade. Let me show you John Stones' upgrade. Very nice looking card now. Very, very decent stats as you can see here. 90s across the board in defense, which is really nice looking and obviously some really good physical and pace and he plays really well in the game. So that alone is going to cause panic on center backs. We did see Fafana briefly go down to 240, but he is back up now. As I said, be out of all these cards today, in my opinion, it's the safest play. You can always buy them back. It's always good to sell when your cards are in profit too. As you can see here, I'm on 938k profit with loads of cards having already been sold from this portfolio. As you see right here, all these are lazies which have gone. All of these are lazies which have been sold here. Oh, I sold one for 283 ages ago. Oh wait, no, no, that was uh, me selling too early actually. I think I got a lazy when he was very low. I don't know, to be honest. I'm surprised I sold for 283. I feel like that should have been 383, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Um, yeah, Trent, some crazy lazies back when he was much lower, but now he's reaching that price, so it's all good. And here we go. I would sell all these road to the finals. I wouldn't risk holding them into Thursday. I don't think the risk is worth the reward. And you can always buy them back after the game with us on Twitch, which is exactly what we'll be doing. Let's look at the promo cards from this team. And a couple crazy things happened overnight. The main one being Mr. Fabian. He got too low for mini release uh, way too quick. As you see here, he bottomed out at 344. He was actually 315 briefly. 315 briefly. He just went up to the moon today to 500k. And it's come down to 400 where he's trading at. I would not trade this card at his current form. I believe that he will steadily uh, decline from here. I wouldn't touch this card, whether it's a good live card or not. Uh, I don't think really too much else did happen. A lot of them seem to be just steadily dropping. There's not much demand for these cards because the first upgrade cannot be they're not eligible for the first upgrade for two weeks. And then we have a set of games, and then we have a two-week international break. So it's really tough on these cards. No, honestly, they're massive L's, and barely any of them are that usable, usable anyway, or extremely meta outside of. Saliba and Lorente, the rest are relatively average cards. Maybe Isaac and Sanchez are good too, but I'm not sure. These are like top meta cards, I would say. Heroes, these are just remaining kind of flat now. I think they're done dropping, but again, if they're not eligible for upgrades for two weeks, it's going to be a bit of a problem, or at least two weeks, and then they have a, a game, and then two more weeks, so it's going to be tough. So I'd be careful with these cards and holding them. The main thing you can look at right now is something I'm heavily invested in, it's Team of the Weeks. My favourite is Phil Foden, under 25k. Honestly, fantastic. Being getting lazy sales, as I'll show you right here. 29,750. List them between 29 and 30k, and you will get lazy sales. List as many as you can up. List for one hour. Relist every hour. It's very, very simple. 
Messi seems to be hitting 700k every day and rebounding. Do you see this guy at 700k? You buy it. 800k yesterday on PC was clearly the buy time. He's obviously up to 860 now. But um, 700k is clearly the buy price. But whether I buy one myself or not is, is to be seen. But look, he hit again. He was basically 700k here. And we'll see if we make the mistake again. Eventually, he's going to stop bouncing to that price and just go up. So it probably is a good look. And I'm probably going to look into it on the next bounce as I'm going to have my coins ready. Hopefully today on Thursday. And Guy says decent for ladies selling. Furpo is fantastic for ladies selling. There's clearly a decent amount of demand for this card. Not to mention he's Spanish and Prem. So he can give you that link to Ramos and your Premier League players. Although there's not many good Leeds links. But yeah, while he while he wasn't fodder before, he then hit fodder. And now he clearly has some sort of demand as he's remaining, remaining above fodder. Under 17k, I think you're good here on both consoles. Other than that, the rest of the team week is re relatively dead. No demand for Robert Romero. Robert's people said they have he has demand, but he's in the championship, so I'm not keen on that. My only real looks are Foden, Burpo, and Gisa and Romero in that order of how much I like them. Obviously, Messi is a completely different type of trade. I think he continues to do well as well. Other than that, it looks like we haven't got too much panic on the market today. As the content was bad, everything should be up. Nothing is really low here, so there's nothing to really buy today. You're likely waiting for a dip. Dybala did get his upgrade, I should mention that, on his ones to watch. He got a plus one. They got some key stats upgraded by plus two, which is his pace and his shooting. So this card obviously rose from 85k all the way to 110, which is a huge rise, but no one really knew when this upgrade was coming or how big the upgrade was going to be. So that's basically why Dybala has gone up a ton. But other than that, here are my investments. Let me just show you. Same old, same old. Okay, my game is stuck. We'll try one more time, and if not, I'll just go to my unassigned list. It looks like it's stuck, so okay, it looks like we can't go either. Either way, it's all those informs and the road to the finals. Thanks EA for that. Once again, crash my game for a thousand time today. Um, but yeah, road to the finals. I'll be selling all of them today. It's the only one there's a chance I hold. I probably want to sell him too. I've got him listed at 282, 290 anyway. And he's 275. I'm going to start getting lazy, so there's nothing I can really do there if he sells. And I'm fine with selling him. I just relisted all as you saw. But yeah, overall, I think the smart play is what the play has been the last week and the weeks before. Get out all cards on Tuesday, especially with Weekend League being extended. Normally the high point is on Monday, but this week it's Tuesday because Weekend League has been extended by an extra day and finishes on Tuesday morning technically as we had those errors on the weekend. So make sure you have your cards on Tuesday. I'll be doing that. I'll be updating you with my next moves tomorrow on tomorrow's video. And yeah, other than that, like, subscribe, share the video, join our free trading discord. Join our Patreon, um, join our Twitch stream, whatever you like. All the links to every, all my socials are in the description right now. I'm said Discord. And yeah, other than that, thank you for watching this much. And thank you for leaving great comments every day and watching the video. Hopefully you're learning a lot and you're riding with me as we make a ton of coins. Up only one mil so far on this week's uh, road to the finals. But hey, last week was 2.5. This week's one mil, 3.5 mil in a couple weeks. I'll take that all day. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.